Hello everyone, Sip here. Welcome to another Planet Zoo episode. If you're new to this channel, which is highly likely considering about 80% of my viewers are not subscribed, in this series I try to recreate the Antwerp Zoo located in Belgium, in Planet Zoo. If you haven't checked out my previous videos, you can pause the video right now and check the link uh, to the playlist in the description below. That being said, in today's episode I built the enclosure for the Indian elephants. Antwerp Zoo currently has two male adolescent Indian elephants named Sam and Assam, but the history of elephants in Antwerp goes back a long way and has some really interesting stories that I'd like to share with you guys. The story of the elephant in Antwerp Zoo starts in 1852, that's the year when Jacqueline, Antwerp Zoo's first elephant, arrives. Jacqueline was named after the zoo director at the time, Jacques Ketz, but unlike the female name suggests, Jacqueline was actually a male. Jacqueline was a gift from the Belgian consul in Burma and after its death in 1880 the elephant skeleton was put on display in the Egyptian temple which I've also done in this recreation. Even though currently the skeleton is on display in the large building near the entrance. Also in 1880 Jacques Vekemans, the successor to Ketz as the director of the zoo, brought two elephants from the Brussels Zoo to Antwerp. The Brussels Zoo, then already closed for two years, was located in the Leopolds Park, where currently the heart of the European Union, along with the Museum of Natural Science, is located. Now, why am I telling you this? Well, the way he did it to me speaks as much to the imagination as Hannibal crossing the Alps with his elephants. With two carts drawn by horses and filled with hay, Vickermans lured the elephants forward. A couple of weeks earlier, a zookeeper had already tried to bring them to Antwerp by foot, but the elephants broke loose near the royal palace in Laken and stormed into King Leopold II's garden. Imagine being a Flemish farmer at the time, ready to get your harvest from the fields, and while you're on your way to your potato fields, these two giant beasts that you've never seen before cross you on the way. The next episode of the elephants in the history of the Antwerp Zoo is related to Bugatti, the famous car brand. Rembrandt Bugatti, the younger brother of Ettore, who started the brand, was a sculptor and stayed in Antwerp for a while. Ever since he visited the Antwerp Zoo for the first time in 1906, he was captivated by its exotic animals and decided to sculpt statues based on the zoo's inhabitants. One of his sculptures, an elephant standing on its hind legs, eventually made it into the design of his brother's Bugatti Royale. To this day, there are several of Bugatti's statues scattered around the zoo, and eventually I'd like to do an episode dedicated to this special figure. I'll end on a more recent chapter of history regarding the elephants at Antwerp Zoo with the story of Kaimuk. Kaimuk was the first elephant born on Belgian soil, on the 17th of May 2009 at Antwerp Zoo. At the time of her birth, she was a media celebrity. 1.2 million people visited the livestream of her birth and during the four days after her birth, 60,000 visitors had come to the zoo to see her. Antwerp's mayor at the time even registered Kaimuk in the civil registry of the city and a dedicated beer was even brewed for her baby shower. In 2012, Kaimuk was moved to Antwerp Zoo's sister zoo in Plankendaal, and in 2018 she gave birth to a daughter of her own. Antwerp Zoo is currently used to house groups of adolescent male elephants, while Plankendaal is where the breeding program is happening. With that being said, I'll leave you with the rest of the speed build, but we'll be back with the live commentary in a second. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are here now in Planet Zoo, in 
life in the game, I should say. And um, let's just go into. Oh, okay. Let's just go into Tedget Cam here, first person mode. If you haven't checked out the first person mode mod, uh, I would recommend it. It's really good. It adds like a shortcut uh, or a keyboard um, thingy uh, for first person mode. But we are right around the corner. That's the Egyptian temple right there. You can hear the elephants, the Asian elephants or the Indian elephants on the other side there. Um, I did a little bit more than you saw in the time lapse. Um, I a bit like uh, I built like this little duck pond. It's not finished, but I did like railings and a bridge. We really need more like usable bridges and stuff because. Uh, the bridge that's there is like a, this arch bridge, but yeah, I can't do that with what I have right now with the pathing and stuff. But yeah, uh, the data mines suggest that we will get some more bridges. But yeah, we have this nice little bridge here, this nice little railing that took me quite a while, but the good thing was that I, I could like use it all over the place. And this is like, this became like or this has become my f one of my favorite spots in the zoo right now. Like this is gonna be a little duck pond. I'm gonna put ducks in here. Uh, it's not quite done as you can see um, because I need to finish up like a path and there's a building over there and of over here I need to properly smooth out that terrain a bit more um, and have some more foliage around it. But look at this like if you look at oh I fell into the water of course I did. Yeah, let me okay but look at this like with this little fountain over here and the, the little thing over there and the, the plants everywhere the the willow tree oh, I fell into the pond again <laughs> I gotta be careful where, where I'm walking but yeah you, you walk down this path here you can see the ducks uh, or you will be able to see the ducks swimming here uh, I might look into putting some fish in here because I read on was it zoo chat that they put some fish in here again I, like things like carps and stuff like you always have these areas in zoos where they have like fish and as soon as you get some bre uh, bread out of your pockets they all swarm on you get their filthy mouths out of the water to get that piece of bread yeah i love those type of areas in zoos. okay but yeah you walk down this curvy path here next to this birch tree and then you have of course it's not finished yet I need to do like the entire plank uh, thing here but yeah you can walk over here have a look at the docks have a look at the take some pictures because it's a pretty picturesque um, type of area but then you can go onto this platform there's two ways of course there's the wheelchair friendly way of going up here but they also have like this um, rock type of way to get up here for like you know children always too much energy in their in their uh, in their day and they want to get it out before they have to go to bed at the end of the day so they have the, like this rock type of way to get up here so yeah, rock rocks and um, wheelchair friendly way and then you get up here and then you have our two large well, they, they are large in the game, but in real life they are adolescent, so they're a bit smaller. Oh god, I wish I wish we had a way in Planet Zoo in Sandbox to change the uh, age of our animals, or like filter, or like more specifically choose which age your animals have or you adopt them as. Like there's no way if you want to play in Sandbox without animals dying from old age to have stuff like babies and stuff and, and things. Like for recreations, it would be awesome if you could set the age so you can be a, a little bit more accurate. But yeah, the two adolescent males that we have in here are Sam and Assam. I think Sam comes from a British zoo and I'm not sure where Assam comes from. But yeah, they have this nice little area in here. Um, with a little like a pond where they can swim and I've actually seen them use it already. So it's quite nice. I don't think they will use it right now because they're over here in this area but yeah it's like one of those things you will always see in an a in the Indian elephant um, enclosure 
like these little ponds where they can swim, where they can wash themselves. So yeah, a little Lion Rider cameo over here. No, <laughs> just joking. But yeah, um, the guests can actually come up here and have a look at the animals, which is pretty nice. I really, this is like, this has become my favorite area in the zoo so far. Yeah. Like previously it was the Okapi, probably the Okapi uh, interior there. Uh, but yeah, right now it's it's this little platform here with the duck pond next to it and just this nice view of the, the elephants and the Egyptian temple over here. The African savanna in the distance. Yeah, it's it's really nice. It's really coming uh, coming together here. But yeah, we can just walk through here. Uh, and then we have a little bit more of an area. I might put in a bench over here or something because it's like... I don't. I know that there's no bench in, in Antwerp Zoo in real life here, but it's a bit big and empty up here. And if there are not many guests around here, yeah, it's, it feels like a bit empty. Oh, maybe we will get some fish or some swimming action. They are moving more towards this area. But yeah, I, it was really easy to make like these these uh, fence types because it's like the thing they almost always used for elephants like these electrical fences um, I did try to use the uh, African ropes originally that came with the African DLC but they only had like the curved or the hanging hanging variant they didn't have the straight variant um, because the African ropes are recolorable or um, yeah, flexi color and uh, I think that would have looked nicer than just the plain old rope we have here Come on, one of you guys have a swim, please. So yeah, they are able to go inside of the Egyptian temple. I think I will redo the interior um, later on in the series to be a bit more accurate to what it actually looks like. Right now, it's just I'm more focused on exteriors and habitats and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. You're throwing all that dirt around you. Just, just have a wash. Go into the water. Have a wash. You know you want it. Yeah, you want it. I know you do. Come on. We might see it. It's, it's moving closer. Man, the animals, the animals in this game are just amazing. Just look at this. Just. Yeah. Okay, it's not going to go for a swim. I think this one might. He's turning around. Yeah, that with the trunks on the floor and stuff like that. That's or the, on the ground. That's so so cool to see. Yeah, I don't think we'll see them uh, soon. But over here we then have the staircase down and again like a wheelchair friendly version of this. Yeah, I might have to fix that. Uh, that's not really wheelchair friendly over there. Uh, but yeah, you can go down here and then of course this path isn't finished uh, at all yet. But then of course over here we have the African uh, savannah. So yeah, really cool area over here. As I said, I really love it. It's it, it's be it has become my favorite uh, area. But if we go back into a bit more of a general view, as I said, um, these two are called Sam and Assam. So this one is Sam. Seventeen. Why are they all in boxes? I have no idea. Multiple animals have... What the hell? Why are all these animals in boxes? I do not know. Okay, but yeah. Um, that aside, I have been... That's the last thing I will say for this video. I have been working on trying to get animal names for all of these animals. So, for example, over here we have Zaire the Okapi. Um, then we also have... Where's our other one? Uh, I think this is Bundi. Yes, Bundi is the, the male one. Or I might have... Yeah, I think... I don't know. I, I might have to check that because I thought Bundi was a female. But So this might be... Um, but yeah, over here we have like... Uh, where, where are these ones? Over here. Like um, 
Lindy. Oh no, Bundy is the male, I think. I was confusing it with Lindy. Like Lindy and Henry and stuff. I, it might not be 100% accurate because I am trying to get the actual names of the actual animals. Um, the four sea lions, I do have their real names. They are called Case, uh, Zilver, uh, then we have uh, Zoe and Luna. They are actually deep diving now, which I didn't do in my previous video. But it looks like they... <laughs> what the hell are they doing? <laughs> <They're> <laughs> okay. This is... This is being weird. I think... <laughs> I think my game is broken or something because th they are being weird. Are my ana other animals also freaking out? Uh, she's acting normal. So yeah, the spectacle bear hasn't been fixed yet. Yeah, these are acting normal. Um. <laughs> okay, this game. Uh, I love it. But yeah, our sea lines are a bit weird. Maybe I should like try and move, move it. Try to move all of these to fix them. Because I think they they are broken. <laughs> I don't know why this game does it sometimes. And the last one is over here. Okay. You girls have fun on the dr on dry land. You can deep dive later on. But yeah, they actually deep dive now, which they didn't do in my previous video. Um, so that being said, um. Yeah, I, I made some corrections here and there in terms of how many animals they have and stuff like that. For example, I had four zebras in here, but they only have three. Uh, the giraffes in here are all female because they are hybrids. Like, one of them is mostly reticulated. Uh, the two others are mostly um, rod shields. And because they are hybrids, they aren't used to breed. So that's why they are three females. Um... Yeah, some other things like, for example, in here, the gorillas also got their names, Matadi, uh, then we have Mambele over here. But yeah, the gorillas is another one of those instances where I really wish we could change the age on them. Because, um, like, Antwerp Zoo currently has, like, two uh, baby gorillas uh, or toddler, uh, one baby, one toddler, I think, like Fizazi and. Uh, in here we have, uh, oh, I think one of these is Tandi. Uh, yeah, Tandi is the, the other one, toddler, I think. Mm -hmm. Then we of course have Amahoro in here, which is supposed to be the Eastern Lowland Gorilla, but there hasn't been a mod as far as I'm aware for Eastern Lowlands, because the mod, the, the Gorilla mod that's up on the on Nexus is uh, for Highland Gorilla, I think. But yeah, I think I've been talking for way too long now. Um, and I hope you really like this area as much as I did. And if you want to see more, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye!